Hello, and welcome friends. I have for you today a 2020 box of Mosaic Prism Football. Is it Prism? A Mosaic Football to break, and also a product review. All right, we got four cards per pack, eight packs per box, 2020 Mosaic NFL trading cards. We are trying to find those hot Justin Herberts and those Tua Tungle-Vailoa. Boy, that's a tongue twister, I gotta tell ya. All right. Some sort of security measure or something like this? What is this? They send me a free Cracker Jack prize? What is What is this, man? Oh, God. The sound. Oh, this one's backwards. We'll save that one for last. All right, guys. Let's see what we can find. There's got to be something sweet in here. All right. Packs seem solid. Ooh, it opens very nicely. Very gently. Whoosh. Matt Judon. Derwin James Jr., not LeBron. Who is that? Is that Justin Herbert? Did we already get a Justin Herbert? It's Joshua Kelly, and it's Justin Jefferson. What? This is not the. I mean, I didn't think that it was the right team. That's not the. That's not the Justin. What are you guys doing? Really? That's it right there. They bluffed us off the top, but we did get a a, a Joshua Kelly. So that's not bad, I suppose, right? Justin Jefferson, is he any good? I'm not really the football guy. But I do believe that these cards are, are quite attractive in general. I do like the mosaic design. The uh, The weird background has a bit of a, of a depth to it. It's not really plain. You can kind of look at it in the light and see. But yeah, these are, these are attractive cards. They're nice looking. At first, I didn't really like them too much, but they've kind of grown on me a bit, honestly. We got Brett Favre for that vintage vintage strategy into Jerome Bettis not too far off from there we've got Dan Marino it's the Hall of Fame pack and our flea flicker with Devin Singletary and Stefan Diggs and Josh Allen now, that's not so bad right Buffalo Bills Josh Allen with a pretty interesting looking design behind his jersey Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, you see what I mean about the sort of the color variation on the actual color of the card? I do like that. We got another green back here, so we'll see if it's anybody sweet. Already it's relatively cold outside. Ooh, Lynn Bowden Jr. He's supposed to be good, man. I got one of my friends that said this dude is a dude to watch that's been watching him play forever, and they traded him. I mean, who knows what position that he's even playing these days. And who's this? Phyllis Diller? Philip Lindsay. So we have a Philip Lindsay. Another green prism of some sort. All right, all right. I see you. Bowden Jr. is not bad. That might be good in the future. If they could figure out what position he's playing. At this point in time, he might as well be a, a first baseman. That's Adam Vinatieri. Bobby Wagner. Is that Lamar? There's a nice Lamar Jackson Pro Bowl. Lamar Jackson's cards have kind of cooled off a little bit, but he's coming back off the COVID protocol, and perhaps he'll be back in the mix. And then old school Randy Moss. I think these cards have a lot of potential. I know it's just a random insert, but I've been looking at getting the colored variations or the prisms because I, I got to tell you guys, stained glass cards are just really attractive. And that's a, a nice looking stained glass card. All right. Nick Chubb. Alvin Kamara, the New Orleans Saints. There's a Van Jefferson. Another green back here, and it's Devin Singletary. All right, I'm looking for a different color, guys. Let's see if we can get, like, a red or a or an autograph. Actually, I don't really care that much about autographs. Some of them are really nice if it's a, a player that you collect or you or you really like, but it's not, it's not necessary. Whoa, you see me in there? Look at me. Whoa. Anyway, Christian Kirk. Josh Allen. Looks like the wrong Josh Allen. There's a C.D. Lamb NFL debut rookie card. C.D. Lamb has been running circles around Amari Cooper. And it looks like we have a silver back here, guys. It's a silver carry-on Johnson. A man of the airplane baggage himself. Carry-on Johnson. Sounds more like a nickname, you know what I mean? Like he just puts people over his shoulders and just barrels into the end zone. There's a T.Y. Hilton. What is that? Is it crazy looking? Oh, it's just like some insert. <laughs> T.Y. Hilton, D.K. Metcalf in a very stylish jersey. Look at the design on that. Aaron Rodgers for more of those vintage MVPs. 
And then we have the Touchdown Masters, Dalvin Cook. This is kind of like the Jam Masters or whatever. It's a pretty attractive card. I don't know about this orange, rusty bronze around the outside edge of it. But overall, from a product review standpoint, since we are reviewing this product, I think that the colors on the front are unique and they're nice. But I think that Panini needs to get their shit together regarding these print lines. You guys see the print lines all over the back of this card? I mean, it's because they're getting spit out on rollers as they print 700 million copies of them. We need some better quality control, Panini, if you're out there. If we're going to spend the money, right? This is a two-way street, dude. If we're spending $800 on four cards, I'm going to need you to at least roll it right. You know what I mean? It's got to be at least smokable. All right, there's Stefan Diggs. Whoop. Bringing us over to Carson Wentz. Yeah, there's that. KJ Hamler, and the last card in the box, Darius Slayton Green. How did we do in this box overall for value? This is like a $60 blaster. I know it's supposed to be $20, but you know how that works. 60 bucks, where's the value? KJ Hamler, it's not Carson Wentz. It's definitely not an Aaron Rodgers vintage card. It's CD Lamb. Silver Carry on Johnson's probably a $2 card. Devin Singletary, is he good? I don't know. Van Jefferson, maybe he's good. Again, I'm not the uh, not the master on these. I would say Philip Lindsay, Lynn Bowden Jr., and C.D. Lamb debut. But where's the rest of the value at? Justin Jefferson, if this guy's good, this is his NFL debut. Maybe there's some action there, but honestly, and Joshua Kelly, rookie card. So we got a few rookie cards, but it doesn't look like there's anything too impressive in here. So that might just be like 12 bucks worth of cards or something. I don't know. Either way, I do like the design on these. I'm not so sure that buying product to open is a good idea. I'm more a fan of buying the specific players and the cards that you want, but I do enjoy the colorful design on the mosaics, even if they have a few too many colors. So if you guys are looking for 2020 Mosaic Football, there's a brief preview for you, my friends. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.